Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review. Tonight we're going to take a look at the Studio Series Transformers Dark of the Moon Megatron. And this is a pretty cool looking figure and I can't wait to get him out of here. So, uh, without much further ado, let's do this. Because I'm just not saying it anymore. Fuck you guys. Not the viewers, but YouTube himself. I did my part. It's in the fucking description, so... Suck it. And here's a big backdrop, which we can give a shit less. Here's a big empty fucking box, giving a shit less about that. Uh, gotta have this, though. Now let's get this guy out of here. Cause he's pretty big, man. Way bigger than the first movie's Megatron. And, I mean, I'm not sure how they can explain that to us. And I love this big-ass gun he's got. That's pretty cool. Oh, boy. There's a little goblin-looking fucker here. Get the fuck out of here. Are you free? Hell no, you're not free. Of course not. Now he's free. All this bullshit. Okay. Get rid of that for now. Alright. So here's this big behemoth son of a bitch. And <laughs> I don't know, man. Already fucking with him. He just seems like his legs and shit. Oh my god, this is crappy. Why is this fucking shit? What the fuck, man? I'm not having a good time lately with these fucking things. This guy is no exception. Why, why, why do they have to be so fucking... Like these, these pieces on his legs, man. They just want to fucking come apart on me. Trying to get this fucker to stand. Because there's literally like five different bendable parts on his leg all the way down. I ain't even got to his fucking arms yet. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. What the fuck? Has this guy just got such tight joints that he just ain't gonna fucking move or. What the fuck, man? Now that one's moving just fine. Now why ain't this? There we go fucking snap over here and okay so I guess to talk about Megatron here and from this particular I'm about to put rubber bands around these fucking legs just so they stay this is retarded man oh my god Yeah, I'm sure you guys would like to see this figure sometime today, right? There he goes. Okay, so. Yeah, so Megatron in this movie. So he rolls up all fucking Lion It's like Scar from Lion King and shit. In fucking Africa. <laughs> or, I guess. He rolls up. Transforms. And he's just like, roar and shit. Like, Megatron's here. And da 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 Your ruler. Bow. Kind of bullshit or whatever which and i don't understand why they opted to to do the cloak here because like he had it maybe a 30 seconds of the fucking movie when he transforms from his truck he pulls his cloak on and like as soon as he starts walking into the fucking junkyard or whatever where he was at he takes it off and it's the last you see of it throughout the whole movie so yeah i just i don't get why they had to do that but I guess it's cool. It makes for a cool feature for him. I do like his gun. But I feel like I'm going to have issues with it. <laughs> him holding it. Well, holding it the way I want him to hold it anyway. And I don't know what this little guy's name is. He de he is articulated, which just blows my mind. <laughs> um, yeah, I have no idea... 
who he is, but he's a cool little figure. Uh, it's nice to have something like that to go along with it. But here is Megatron, full on, out of the package, looking okay. I mean, he does look cool. He looked way better in the package, I guess, but I don't know. His alt mode is pretty cool, too. But I do want to compare him to the only other Megatron that I have from the Studio Series, and that's from the first movie. And you see, he's much bigger. <laughs> But here he was some kind of a jet, and here he's a truck, so I, I guess, I guess, I can see the difference in his size, but nah. The design, I mean, it's still Megatron either way you look at him. The only thing that really stays the same is pretty much his head, and maybe his hands. Uh, and of course here in his head it does show, like, the damage. That he has where he's battle damaged and everything and he had those little fucking dudes fucking in his head like trying to repair him and shit so uh yeah anyways um i'm gonna try to get some others out here to compare from this this uh wave i'm not gonna do them all I, because well fuck i might as well let me do this motherfucker here. This is the one I dread doing because it's just so much going on here. But here he is next to Optimus Prime and his little thing. And eventually I'm going to scrap that and do something else with it. I just have him displayed with it. I don't know, man. It's fucked up. And here he is next to Sentinel Prime. Okay. I'm not going to do them all, mainly because I don't want to fuck with that stupid piece of shit crankcase anymore. <laughs> and here he is next to Soundwave. Little bitty fucking Soundwave here, which I, I still don't like how little he is. And here he is next to Shockwave. Pretty good size there. So, that's it. No more discuss with this guy. I'm ready to hear you guys' thoughts on him. So you guys hit me up in the comments, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And as always, Master Marvel 80 here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.